YouTube, what's up? My name is Chicken Fried Rice, and welcome to this week's Royal Canadian Armored Force Top Play of the Week. This week we're going to be featuring Dorsai, who is um, going to be playing a uh, game in his T-54. Now you're going to say Dorsai is quite the player in his T-54. Not only this, but he not only manages to do a lot of damage, but... To be able to achieve around six or more kills in a high tier game is very difficult. Um, not only because high tier tanks can uh, have a great chance of one shotting, artillery can just wreck you, and all these other things, but also because higher tier players have a bit more of an idea of what they're doing. They have a lot more experience. They know how the game mechanics work. So it's a lot harder to be able to get these guys to do really dumb things and to abuse of that. So really all you can rely on is aiming for the good spots and uh, just pl playing your best man that's all you can do so right here Dorsai backing up on this uh, KV-3 giving a good shot into his engine engine catches fire that KV-3 is gone there's a T-20 right there peeking, uh, peeking around the corner and he's also being chased down by what appears to be his biggest nemesis T-54 versus T-54, except the enemy tank is being assisted by an angry troop of, well, he is accompanied by a Panther and an I-6. Now, although those are lower tiers, altogether they can obviously kick Dorsai's ass. Luckily for Dorsai, he is platooning with Johnny Kai, who is rolling his E-75. And you know what? Dorsai and Johnny Kai are doing quite a tag team combo here. Johnny Kai came and saved Dorsai from there. All unfortunately for him, that meant he attracted all the attention of the enemy tanks. Which also means he is taking the most amount of fire out of anyone. Dorsai making sure that Johnny Kai's won't well, damage slash possible sacrifice is not in vain. Johnny Kai got taken down, but Dorsai is ready to avenge him. He is going to take down this T-54 right here, right now, but before that, he wants to make sure to get rid of that Panther. He doesn't have a guaranteed penetration onto that T-54, so he's not going to waste that shot. He wants to wait until he has a guaranteed kill. Well, maybe not a guaranteed kill, more of a guaranteed penetration shot. Right here, he comes up against the Panther. Now, I don't know what kind of a Panther charges up against a T-54 by itself, but that is probably one of the dumbest things I've ever seen. Right here, he's going up against a Lorraine Elf, uh, a Lorraine 40, and uh, that is another tier 9 tank that he is taking down pretty much on his own with a little bit of support from his teammates. Thorsai here, getting taken down, well, attempted takedown by a T-54, the one that was at 2%, fortunately for the T-54, he had no joy. Thorsai is absolute destroying this game. You see this guy in a T-54? I recommend you uh, think about engaging him. He is doing some serious, but serious damage. He's already taken out four of the enemy tanks, and he is not done yet. Now, even if he is a top tier, once you hit the tier 9s, tier 8s, it is very difficult to get at these games where you hit that 6, like I said at the beginning. I've only done it once in my Type 59, and even then, it was quite an impressive sight. Unfortunately for me, I never recorded it, but Dorsai here... Being a little bit smarter than me, decided, hmm, I'm going to submit this for Top Plays of the Week. Speaking of which, if you guys want to be seen on Top Plays of the Week and you're a Royal Canadian Armored Force member, please submit the uh, videos on my uh, email, which is posted on the World of Tanks, uh, Royal Canadian Armored Force uh, Forum, also known as RCAF for short. So, Dorsai here, forgetting about this guy, uh, no, he's not going to let that Tiger 2 live. He's like, mm, I think, you know what, let's just kill him while we're at it. It's not like if it's going to require any more effort from him, he's just breezing through the whole entire team. He, he not single-handedly, but with help from his teammate, was able to um, not hold out a fight, but completely annihilate it. There's a difference between holding out off an offensive and completely destroying one and turning it into your own terms. Right here, he is coming up against a T26E4, the Super Pershing. He is going to go in there and he is going to, hopefully, which is probably going to happen, he is going to destroy that Super Pershing without any hesitation. 
Door side taking good cover, which is a very smart move in uh, this situation. You don't want to be exposing yourself, especially to the Super Pershing. It has a pretty good gun. It is definitely a sniper tank, and what you don't want to be doing is aiming for that uh, turret. The Super Pershing's turret is the worst spot you can aim. It is literally a unpenetrable wall of steel, the turret. If anything, you want to be aiming for the main frontal armor if you come head on to one. It is almost a guaranteed penetration if you have a high, well, a good enough gun, obviously. But if anything, you are not going to want to be aiming for that uh, gun mantle because it is basically um, a waste of your ammunition. Right there, AIS pops up on door size horizon. You know what? He's not done yet. Even if we're going to win, well, even if they are going to win this game already, He's going to take the time to completely destroy another tank. Why not inflict more casualties on the enemy team? Why not? It's fun. Well, I don't see the fun in it. She does, obviously. She is taking fun, terrorizing poor, innocent children everywhere, trying to play some World of Tanks. Here he comes, coming up against Nias. Is doesn't even stand a chance. He's scared for his life, that Is. He is just running. He can't even turn around his turret. He doesn't know what to do. Dorsai gives him a mercy kill. Says, you know what? I'll let you die this time. Next time, it'll be different. So as usual, guys, thanks for watching. Leave a comment below. Please subscribe. And if you have any submissions for the RCAF Top Plays of the Week, please do not forget to submit. Thank you.